Yesterday, when trying to import my file to Premiere Pro, I got this error message here saying the file has an unsupported compression type. So after digging through the Adobe community, I found a couple of good solutions to this error. So the first one is to go to File and then close your project if you got any open and remember to save. Then click on the Edit, go to Preferences, go to Media Cache. And here you want to click on the Delete button. And then first try this option here, click on OK. And if that doesn't work, you try the second option here and click on OK. If that didn't work, the second easy solution is to change the file location. So I'm going to move it from Downloads to the Documents and then I will try to import. Preferably, if you have multiple storage units, I would try to change the file location to another drive. The next solution is to try to change the file extension name. So first you have to show them. So click on View, Show, and then enable the file name extensions and then you just rename the file name extension to MTS then you click on yes and try to import the file once again you could also try renaming to mp4 or another supported format in my case you can see here by right clicking clicking on properties then my file has an MKV container. And if we check the supported formats in Premiere Pro on Adobe's website, you cannot find MKV here in this table. You could press Ctrl F to search. And then if I type MKV, you can see we have no results. So if you cannot find your format, we will have to transcode the file into one of the supported ones. A great software to use for transcoding is called Shutter Encoder, which is free and I will leave a link to it in the description where you can download it. To import the Shutter Encoder, you just drag the files into it like this. Then what's really great with the Shutter Encoder is under Choose Function here, you can see they offer a bunch of different codecs. Then going with one of these editing codecs, which will uh, prevent quality loss. So in my case, I'm gonna choose the DNxHD, and then I'm gonna click on Start function to transcode the file. Once it's done, you will find the file in the same folder as the original file. And now we can try to import. We can see we get no error here. The second way to transcode is really nice if you are using the OBS uh, screen recorder. So to do this, simply go to File, click on Remix Recordings. Then you click on these three dots here. You select your files and then you click on Remix. And then you will find a mp4 version of the file in the same folder as the original files. For more solutions you can check out this article here on my website where I've included some other things you can try as well and I will leave a link to it in the description. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.